GM GM Hot FM, welcome back to another episode. Recently, a type of NFT that has been really blowing up are storytelling NFTs, and there's a lot of buzz around that. And so, Button and I today we want to talk about one of the first pioneers that built an extremely powerful story around an NFT collection. And this artist is called Micah Johnson. So, Button. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about Micah and how he started his journey with art and NFTs? Yeah, of course. Hello, Kucho. Hello, wonderful friends. Micah Johnson, he's an incredible artist. Um, but before he even became an artist, he was actually a really talented athlete, specifically in baseball. And he was born in 1990, and he was lucky enough and skilled enough to get drafted into the MLB, where he played for multiple professional teams at the highest level. Uh, after he chose to retire from baseball, he decided to exchange a baseball bat for a paintbrush. And he felt that art would be his new career calling as it was something that was meaningful to him that he felt he could make a significant impact with. He started initially with physical art, which Cucho, I believe you have some to display to our wonderful friends. Yes, he started with physical art and in 2019, he went full time into creating art. He told himself, hey, I'm going to give myself at least a year to full time pursue this passion. And then uh, one situation that really inspired him in his journey as an artist is that his little nephew asked him the question, can astronauts be black? And this inspired him to create paintings that actually show his nephew, nephew in like an astronaut helmet. And so uh, he created an exhibition with Art Angels, um, a gallery in LA, and that exhibition sold out immediately. Then after that, he felt like, oh, this is such a powerful message, but now you know, there are just a few collectors that have these paintings uh, hanging on their walls at home so he felt like oh what might be ways for me to actually spread this message even broader um which is really powerful and then he came across nfts in crypto and thought oh maybe this is the channel that really allows me to do that so button tell us more about um, micah's first steps into the nft space Absolutely. Well, first off, I got to emphasize Micah Johnson was extremely early, especially when we're looking at a lot of these artists that we talk about today that have a prominent history. Micah Johnson was his first NFT was created in February 2020. I mean, to go back to that time, we're talking like COVID at the very beginning. And this is where the light bulb switched on. And this is where the beginning of the transition from him do, focusing primarily on physical art to digital art began. And this was a one of one. Um, they don't, at the time, they were going for a decent amount of money, but there definitely wasn't that audience that we see today that are really leaning into non fungible tokens and trying to get into some of these ecosystems that have been created further. Another thing that I noticed is when you look at some of his early pieces, you see some of the similarities from his physical pieces. So there's starting to become a consistent theme that's going through Micah Johnson that he wants to carry on onto his artistic journey into NFTs. Kucho, he's a big winner. Why don't you tell him about something that he won that's quite amazing? He's a big winner. And yeah, he's an OG, like you said. I mean, having minted your first NFT in early 2020, I mean, back then, there were just a few thousand people around in the NFT space. So yeah, Micah is definitely an OG. Something else I think that really stands out in his journey is that he uses different mediums to create art. Um, we talked about how he started with physical paintings, then from there moved into digital art, and then actually also um, said, uh, uses at times photography to create art. And this is a, a photograph he created in 2020, and it got a lot of attention. It got auctioned off for a really high price. And in addition, it also got an award, and that award was the NFT of the year in 2020. 
So huge accomplishment uh, for Micah. And this really is another big milestone in his artistic journey. And then from there, um, I mean, yeah, he got really established in the NFT space. More and more people were paying attention to what he's doing. And then he had great timing to get on Nifty Gateway, uh, another platform where there was a lot of attention on art at that time. So Button, tell us more about uh, Micah's uh, drops on Nifty Gateway and how that came about. Absolutely. So first off, with Nifty Gateway, it's an opportunity for artists to find a larger market, to create a larger reach by participating in what Nifty Gateway and other platforms call drops. So there's a specific date in which an NFT will be dropped from an artist. And this drop was called an open edition, which essentially enables as many of the NFTs that are minted in a specific time period is how many will be in existence. So if it's for five minutes and 100 people mint them, there will only be 100 editions available. If 1,000 people mint them, there will only be 1,000 available. And so for a short period of time, this is the first one that he did called Genesis 1, which ends up becoming the introduction to Aku, which Aku is the character that he created in his mind based on that conversation that he had with his nephew, demonstrating that not only is it possible that an individual who's from a difficult situation can become an astronaut, but if they dream big enough, they will achieve those goals. And so as you could see, uh, Aku is walking through some of those original paintings that Micah Johnson made when he was first coming up with this idea. And then from there, they came up with multiple other chapters um, with a little bit of gamification in it. Kucha, do you want to share them uh, with them a little bit about that? Yes. And yeah, visually, all of these chapters are really sick. In total, there are 10 of these chapters. And, and something else that's really cool is that from early on, it was really important to Micah to reward the people that were the first ones to believe not just in him as an artist, but also in Aku as the character and the message that Micah uh, wants to spread. And so something that he did is uh, for two of the chapters, there were actually rewards for people that owned some of the early NFTs in the, in the collections. And so I'm showing here as an example, the chapter four and for chapter four, that was actually given away for the collectors that owned all of the chapters one to three. So the three earliest chapters in the series and each of them got airdropped actually two of the chapters. And this is also something that I think is really cool because that allowed them to, if they wanted to actually to sell off one of them, take some profit, uh, get some reward to that, while still holding on to one of them. So I think it's really cool. And also, if you look at Micah, it's really a trend that we see that it's really important to him uh, to reward his earliest collectors and to always build onto what he has been doing in the past. So that's awesome to see um, for an artist to have this long-term mindset and to always have their collectors top of mind in what they do. And then... The chapters, this was a start of the Aku ecosystem. Uh, and then he actually, you know, broadened that even more. And how he did that is through Akutas. Uh, Button, tell us more about what Akutas are about. Right. So Akutas is the next phase of Micah Johnson's artistic journey, where he's actually building and focusing on building a, a significantly strong community of individuals that believe in Aku, believe in its message, and want to help contribute to bring it forward. So after all 10 chapters were released, um, individuals who had chapters, they got an opportunity to receive a mint pass for an Aku. Now, there's a whole lot entailed in this community that he's building. So we're actually going to create a whole nother video to explain what they did and how they're doing uh, their dreams come true right now as they're building towards the future. So we'll have to keep you updated on that one. But overall, Cucho, I mean, Micah Johnson's a huge deal to both of us. Any concluding thoughts you want to bring about what he's doing or where he's going next? I mean, I think it's amazing already what he has accomplished. 
Uh, we did say he's an OG, minted his first I NFT in early 2020. But if you think about it, that's not even three years ago, right? So in these two and a half years that he has been in the NFT space, he's already achieved a lot. He uh, is spreading a super powerful message and builds a, a community around that that helps him actually lead the, to spread that message. And through NFTs, is now incentivized to do that. So a big kudos to him and what he's been building. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to keep following his journey as an artist. Absolutely. It's one of my favorite impactful NFT projects. And I'm very proud owner, collector, and fan of Micah Johnson and Aku. My man, I look forward to doing the next one. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and feel free to subscribe and like. Talk to you all later. Bye. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Cheers, guys.